Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Steve Baker. I'm a data center networking TME here at Aruba and this is going to be a quick start guide video which focuses on introducing the 8400CX switch series. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is the 8400 switch. It's a chassis based switch. This is our large enterprise campus core and data center networking switch. Uh, some of the key features are it's a high performance switch which supports 19.2 terabits of bandwidth, 1.2 terabits per line card slot. It also supports virtual output queuing to ensure dynamic, you know, efficient packet handling across the fabric. It supports high availability that you would expect using the Aruba Virtual Switching Extension VSX and multi-chassis link aggregation as well as of course the chassis based high availability features which would be redundant power, fan, fabric modules and management modules. It supports advanced layer 2 and layer 3 features including DCB, EVPN, OSPF, BGP and IPv6. And it runs the AOS CX operating system which enables automation and programmability using RESTful APIs. It supports intelligent monitoring and visibility with the embedded Aruba CX network analytics engine. And it supports one touch deployment with the CX mobile app and it supports complete management using the CX NetEdit app. Now as far as the form factor, it's an eight slot chassis, which supports eight line card slots and two management card slots. It also has three fabric card slots and four power supply slots, as well as 18 fan modules. So let's go ahead and look a little closer at that. Okay, so this is the front and back view of this 8400CX switch. It really is a fully extensible design in that it allows us to upgrade these fabrics as well as the line cards for future bandwidth scale. Now currently we have four line cards. We have two 32 port modules, a one and 10 gig module, SFP plus version, and then a one slash 10 slash 25 gig SFP 28 version. The 10 gig model is MacSec capable. However, we have not released the MacSec code for that yet. We also have two higher speed modules, a eight port 40 gig module and a six port 100 gig module that supports QSFP 28. The airflow on the switch is front to back airflow and it's a standard 19 inch rackable switch in either two posts or four posts. And like I mentioned on the last slide, all the components are hot swappable and redundant. Looking a little closer at the switch, the power supplies are actually inserted behind the bezel on the front of the switch so you can add and remove power supplies from front access. The inlets for the power supplies are on the back of the switch. Here we have the eight line card slots on the front of the switch. And then in the center of these, the switch are the actual two slots for the management modules. And then you can see on the back, the, the fabric modules are actually hidden behind the fan trays. And so what we're seeing here is all the fan trays. And then of course we have the rear display panel here, which I'll show you. This is an actually exploded design showing the power supplies actually being inserted in behind that bezel. So you can see how they get inserted back there, as well as the line cards and the management modules. Now for the Aruba CX 8400 switch power supplies, it supports up to four power supplies. And if we need redundancy with these power supplies, take note that we need to operate them at high line power. So when we're using Highline Power, if we use four power supplies, we can get N plus N redundancy. Three power supplies would get us N plus one redundancy. And of course, two power supplies would give us no power redundancy. And if we were on 110 voltage, then the four power supplies would operate, but they wouldn't give us 110 power redundancy. So this management module runs the CX operating system. It operates and controls the management plane and the control plane of the switch. And like we saw on the previous slide, it supports one plus one redundancy in slots five and six of the switch. We have a detailed display that you can see on the management module. And internally, it's a Broadwell processor, four cores, 2.2 gigahertz with 32 gig of DRAM and 120 gig solid state hard drive. With regards to external connectors, we have a RJ45 console port and an RJ45 management port, as well as a USB port. Zooming into the management module, we can actually see the, the indicators on the front of the switch, and we have a good 
indicators showing which management module is the active management module, which one is the standby management module, as well as information about the power supplies and the LPUs and the fabrics on the switch. Now with regards to the four line card modules, this is a, a closer view of the four line card modules. So again, we have two 32 port modules, a 10 gig and a 25 gig module. The 10 gig module leverages a 1.5 gigabit packet buffer while the 25 gig module leverages a four gigabyte packet buffer. And then of course we have the 40 gig and the 100 gig modules which leverage a 1.5 gigabit packet buffer and a three gigabit byte packet buffer respectively. Take note that the six port 100 gig module does actually require three fabrics to be installed to get 100% throughput. And here we have an exploded view of the rear of the switch. So here we can actually see the three fabric modules as they get installed into the back of the switch. And then behind that are the three fan trays that have the fan modules installed into the fan trays. And then, of course, we could see the power supply units and the rear display card here. Now, the airflow on the 8400 is front to back. So keep that in mind when you're positioning the switch in the data center. We do have fan tray redundancy. You know, we have the three fan trays and each fan tray has six fans per tray, providing the redundancy for the switch. So here we have the Aruba CX8400 switch fabric module. It's a single SKU JL367A, but the switch supports three of these fabric modules. And we can see that they actually plug into the mid plane using these orthogonal line card connections when they connect into the mid plane. Here's a, an exploded view where we can get a closer view of those orthogonal connections as they connect into the mid plane. And then here we have a view of the rear display card, which helps show you some status information about the power supplies, fabric modules, and the fans within the switch. And finally, we have cable management. You can't forget about that. Cable management in these large switches is really important. So these cable management bundles actually help prevent the weight of these cables from you know, pulling in too small of a bend radius. They help actually lead the cables downward through the manager, so it helps you know you to access the power supplies, which are at the top of the switch. And of course, the posts are strong enough to support the weight of the bundle. It does occupy one rack unit below the, the footprint of the chassis. So that was the introduction to the 8400. Keep your eyes out on the YouTube Airheads broadcasting channel for more quick start videos, providing more detailed information about the CX switching platform. Thank you.